Have you ever felt broken, damaged in some way, fundamentally flawed? Do you remember a time in your life when you didn't believe that? A time in your life that you felt open and deeply connected with your authentic self? If so, what happened to that connection? And because of that, have you ever sought someone or something outside of yourself to try to feel whole again or to bring about some relief from this belief in your own brokenness? If your answer is yes, conscious recovery may be for you. My name is TJ Woodward. I am the creator of Conscious Recovery. Perhaps you're a person who is struggling with addiction, who would like a more life-affirming approach to recovery. Maybe you're a counselor, a therapist, or a clinician working with clients who want to reconnect with their true nature. Maybe you're a person in long-term recovery who wants to deepen your recovery, experience more connection, more love, and more curiosity. In my own life, I remember coming into this world feeling open, feeling present, in awe of the world. I also remember the tall people in my life beginning to teach me about competition, scarcity, fear, not enoughness. I remember learning about violence, about war. I remember, because of that, shutting down, closing off. At age seven, I remember like it was yesterday, a physical sensation of closing my heart, protecting myself from a world that didn't feel safe. Because of that, I walked around feeling that way, believing in my own brokenness, believing the world wasn't safe. I walked around disconnected, filled with shame and unresolved trauma. That went on for many, many years in my life, feeling broken feeling damaged, not good enough, not worthy of love. I discovered relief from that existential crisis, if you will, at age 14 when I discovered drugs and alcohol. They saved my life until they didn't. Perhaps this story resonates for you and with you. Maybe you've had a similar experience, an experience of the loss of that innocence, that pure beingness that you came into the world as. Maybe, like me, you were programmed to believe in scarcity, in your own brokenness. I had the honor and the privilege of getting sober at a fairly young age, ironically just about 50 days before my 21st birthday. And that began a journey for me of rediscovering the truth of who and what I am. It took me many years to learn how to reconnect with my essential beingness, to work through my trauma, to reconnect with my true nature, and to move from a life of shame into a life of worthiness. I discovered a path to liberation and to freedom, and it is my honor to share what I discovered with you right now. I began working in the addiction treatment field about 12 years ago, and I quickly realized that most modalities of treatment and most support groups helping people recover from addiction were focused on symptoms and behaviors without getting down to the deeper root causes that actually drive addiction. One of the things I noticed early in my work in the treatment field is that people were coming back to treatment multiple times over and over again so I began to become really curious about what might be under that. What I discovered is similar to my own journey. Every client that I worked with was carrying around a deep sense of their own brokenness, their own unworthiness, their own unlovability. Perhaps the circumstances were different. Perhaps the core belief about themselves was slightly different. But what I came to understand is the deeper root causes that actually drive addiction are unresolved trauma, spiritual disconnection, and toxic shame. Several years ago, I developed a system of care that is conscious recovery. It 
is the culmination of my over 34 years of recovery and my over 12 years of working in the addiction treatment field. It is a path toward freedom. You see, I'm actually interested in shifting the narrative around recovery from addiction treatment to addiction healing. So what would it be like for you if you could actually heal the deeper root causes that have driven you to an outer focused life, that have created this need for someone or something to bring relief to this sense of emptiness, of brokenness within you. Or perhaps you're a clinician working in the field of addiction treatment, and like me, you wonder why people keep coming back to treatment over and over and over again, and why we collectively have decided 10 to 15% success rate is great. Maybe we even pat ourselves on the back for that. I know we can do better, and it is my sincere hope that conscious recovery can help you. There is an Indian proverb that says we're like a house with four rooms, physical, intellectual, emotional, and spiritual. I recognize that there are aspects to addiction and recovery that live in all four of those rooms. What I've noticed is most of the treatment, most of the modalities, and even the support groups focus primarily in one or two of those rooms. Conscious recovery focuses on the spiritual room. And when I say spiritual, what I mean is a deep connection with our true nature, not a search outward for some kind of higher power, although that can be an important part of recovery. In addition to that, what conscious recovery offers is a path inward of rediscovering your true nature, of looking at what needs to be unlearned and released so that you can step into a life of connection, love, and wonder. So conscious recovery began with a very, very simple question, and that question is, what if underneath all addictive behavior there is an essential self that is whole and perfect? So many times, counselors, clinicians, maybe sponsors, have been programmed to look for what's broken. Many people go through years of education learning how to diagnose and treat. And although I think this is incredibly useful, in addition to that, I began becoming really curious about what might happen if we started looking at the person with an addiction or ourselves if we're in recovery or coming out of an addiction through the lens of wholeness rather than brokenness. What does it create when I look at myself, my client, my friends, as broken in some way? And what might happen if we started looking for the essential beingness, the wholeness within every person? What if healing happens from the inside out? And we are here to create a space to access that inner healing. The paradox in my life is I recognized the answers were within me, but I also couldn't do it alone. There were several people who came into my life who saw me as whole and perfect. See, I didn't see myself in that way. As a matter of fact, I'm guessing if you would have asked me if I was whole and perfect in early sobriety, I might have recoiled or told you all the reasons that wasn't true. But what I discovered is there is a place within me and within every person that is unharmed and unharmable. So what does it mean to recognize there's an essential authentic self within you that is unharmable. How might that change how you view yourself and the world, your addiction and your recovery? So I want to share with you now in greater detail of what conscious recovery is and how it can help you not only break the cycle of your addiction, but return to your own wholeness. In this series, we will be diving deeply into the core principles, practices, and tools in conscious recovery that will help you heal your trauma, reconnect with your essential self, heal your shame, unlearn all those core ideas you have about yourself and the world, create a safe space for you to thrive, to live a life filled with awe, wonder, and love. 
I'm so honored to be sharing this with you, and I want to begin by sharing with you the five key principles of conscious recovery. One, underneath all addictive behavior is an essential self that is whole and perfect. Two, the addiction itself has never been the problem but was a strategy that has lost its effectiveness. Three, treating addiction must go beyond addressing symptoms and get down to the underlying root causes of destructive behavior. Four, the root causes of addictive behavior are unresolved trauma, spiritual disconnection, and toxic shame. Five, there is a pathway to permanent freedom through the adoption of spiritual practices and principles. Before I take you further on the journey that is conscious recovery, I want to offer this. Conscious recovery is not intended to be the one and only method for recovery. It is intended to enhance any other support group, 12-step group, therapy, treatment, or any other kind of support that you're already engaged in. My hope is that it provides you a framework that will assist you in using your other recovery support and perhaps deepening your understanding not only of addiction, but to find a pathway out of your addictive behavior and again a return to that sense of wholeness, awe, and wonder. Even if you don't remember coming into this world being filled with awe and wonder, can you look at the pristine nature of a small child, an infant, a toddler, and see how whole and perfect they are? You were that person once, and what I know to be true is that each of us can return to that sense of ourself as a whole and perfect spiritual being, being unharmed and unharmable. Conscious recovery is presented in three parts. Part one, the roots of addiction. Part two, breaking the cycle of addiction. And part three, a return to wholeness. Again, I've identified the roots of addiction as unresolved trauma, spiritual disconnection, and toxic shame. In this series, we'll be taking a deeper dive into those three topics, looking at how they were created and how we can start to actually heal from those experiences and move into a life of recovery. Part two, breaking the cycle of addiction, creating safety, unlearning, and practicing spiritual principles. Again, Conscious Recovery offers yet another tool for you, principles and practices that will help you find a safe space as an important first step in your recovery, external safety, and even more important than that, internal safety. Allowing yourself the love and compassion you need in order to become present for yourself. You see, addiction, quite simply for me, is a belief in our own brokenness, a sense of disconnection, and an outer search for wholeness. Like we have our umbilical cord in our hand trying to plug into someone or something in order to feel whole. What we're going to invite in this creating safety and unlearning portion of this series is looking at how we can unplug from the externals and plug back into our true nature. Creating safe spaces, internal safety, so that we can become more present with ourselves. It may be overly simplistic, but I think the core of addiction is our inability to be present with ourselves. So if it's true that we use substances or food or sex or shopping or relationships because we can't tolerate being present with ourselves, then creating safety is creating a space where we recognize we actually do have the capacity to learn how to care for those parts of ourselves that feels wounded. Part three of conscious recovery is a return to wholeness where we will begin to discover what I call the great remembering. Remembering the truth of who and what we are. Recovery is not about learning as much as it is about unlearning and returning to our essential beingness. What does it mean to live an awakened life? 
Can we move beyond just letting go of our substance or our behavior and really step fully into a life filled with happiness, gratitude, joy, peace, purpose, deeper meaning? These are all the concepts and the ways of being that we will explore in this third section of this series. So I am so grateful to you that you have decided to take this important step, to take this journey that is conscious recovery. I am so grateful for this connection that we have in this moment, and it is my sincere desire to share with you all the practices that have helped me not only break the cycle of my addiction, but live a life deeply connected with my true nature and a life deeply connected with passion and purpose. So that's an overview of conscious recovery. The next part of this series is unresolved trauma. Thank you so much for joining us and taking this journey that is conscious recovery.